at one point, uh, the Godfather book was written, and then there was a word that it was going to get churned into a major film. Right. And as they're working on the script, the the head of the Colombo crime family catches wind of it, and he gets involved in the That's movie Joe, itself. Joe Senior. He was picketing the FBI building. He didn't want the movie to be made. They were doing rallies. So I figured it out. My ego, I wanted to be in this movie. I read the book. I love it. Somebody read it to me because I can't read. And uh, with that said, I knew but I knew every the way their minds work. How could they make money? So they hire a guy who's still my attorney, Barry Schlotnick. He's still alive. His son is my attorney now also. And I, I go to see him at the club in Brooklyn before he came to New York. They had an office, at, uh, anti-defamation, Italian anti-defamation on Madison Avenue. So I said, Joe, there's an opportunity here to make a lot of money with this. He said, how are we going to make any money? I said, you, you hired Barry. Let Barry read the book. What you don't like in the book, if they take it out, give them the cooperation, all the unions in the neighborhoods, and we'll make money. Now I said, we will make money, because now I had his attention. He said, how are we going to make money? I said, we're going to ask for all the world premieres in every major city, and we'll have those ticket sales. We'll see the film in every major city before anybody else. We can make $150 a ticket. So I said, you give me permission to go up there. And ironically, the Gulf and Western building, who Gulf and Western just bought Paramount, is where Trump Tower is now in Columbus Circle. So I only had to walk up 59th Street, and I'm sitting in the lobby the next morning, and here comes Stanley Jaffe who, and Bobby Evans, who were the presidents. They were moved here now because somebody blew the gates of Paramount in, on, in California on Melrose Avenue off the hinges. They're 30 feet high, <laughs> and that was a warning. So they all come here. It was perfect timing for me. I approached them and said, gentlemen, you have a problem in New York. I think I could straighten it out. He said, we have no problem. I said, I just left Joe Colombo and he wants to have a meeting. Well, they were dead in their tracks. They said, you just left Joe Colombo. I said, yeah, he wants me to set up a meeting. So he said, wait here. So I didn't know if they were going to call the cops. They went upstairs in the elevator. This girl, Naomi Cherry, don't ask me how I remember these names. Naomi Cherry was Stanley Jaffe's secretary. She said, Mr. Jaffe wants you to come up. So I come up, everybody's in the room now. And I said, I just left Mr. Colombo and he'd like to work this out. So they said, and he'll come here? I said, yeah. Said, will he come tomorrow? I said, he'll come anytime you want. He said, 10 o'clock, that's perfect. So now I walk back down. So I tell Joe, I said, I got the meeting set up. He's your kidding. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. I said, but... They all read the book. I want you to take, because I knew Lenny Montana, he was an ex wrestler. He was doing collections for Joe. I want you to take Lenny, Butteress, DeChico. Oh, I want you to come in with who they think you're surrounded with, the mob. And we went. So I'm sitting, Joe's be, between me and Barry Schlotnick, and these guys are standing against the wall like this. <laughs> And I do all the talking. I tell them exactly what they want to do. Barry's going to read the script. What's offensive to them, if you're willing to take it out, perfect. We have another meeting. They have meat. They're all shaking hands. And they're going to do it. So I said, Joe, what about me? He said, yeah, what about him? I want you to take care of my boy. So right away, Al Ruddy, the producer, said, oh, no, we're going to give him a part in the movie. I said, excuse me. You ain't going to give me a part in this movie. I just made this deal, either I'm playing Michael, Sonny, or Carlo. So they said to me, and this may be a shock even to you, they say to me, well, Michael's already been cast. I said, by who? He said, we're going to use Jimmy Kong. I said, what about, you know, my, uh, Sonny? They said, Sonny is going to be Carmine Caridi. He's doing a play, the man from La Mancha. They thought he should be a big guy. I said, well, who's playing Carlo? They said, we didn't get to that part yet. So I said to Joe, I said, Joe, I want to play Carlo. So he said, he's playing Carlo. 
They all looked at each other and they said, yeah, that's how I got the movie. <laughs>